Right guys, check out that weather. Pretty mint winter's day, so we're gonna head out on the harbour for a fish. So I've just been playing around with my chili bin setup. Chili bin's on the ground behind me. But what we're gonna do is, so that's my extended platform. This top section comes off and you'll notice normally these cup holders are up the front closest to the rider. And I've just taken that off today and turned it around. And just to give me a lot of room in here, I am going to take the chili bin with me today. But the hope is that in the near future, I will be able to chuck our new puppy on here. We recently got a new puppy. She's about five months old at the moment. She is a Labrador cross with a Kelpie. So she is going to love the water. And we've already taken her out to the West Coast beaches, throwing a tennis ball into the waves. So she's going good with that. But yeah, hopefully in the near future I'll be able to chuck her back on this platform and take her out for some fishing adventures. So we'll chuck her on there and see what she thinks. Hey girl, how are you? Come here. Hey, you gonna come fishing? Hey. She's a bit young at the moment, but I think in time she will be right into it. Hey. Out on the water guys, what a day, it's nice and warm. So, the plan for today is we've got try soft baiting first up, it's like dead low tide at the moment. If you remember a few times back when I took that sea doo fish pro out for a fish, I was soft baiting for snapper up near the entrance and that was mid tide so I'm going to go try to do that again um, and hopefully I have a bit of luck and failing that in the afternoon, as the tide gets full, I will go drop the anchor in my gurnard spot and try catch a few more gurnard. And failing that, just enjoy the day. I saw on Facebook today, I had a notification that it was seven years since I got my first jet ski, which was the old red and white sea that I did about 400 hours on before I sold that. So yeah, it's a bit of an anniversary, seven year anniversary for jet ski fishing. So there's no better way to spend it than out on the water. Get a couple of soft baits out for the day. What have we got? First up, gonna choose that one there because I've used that one before, so I know it works. Might even try a black one and get a white one out as well. Also got these Jenny clips on here this time, just so I can switch out the jig head. I've never used clips on my soft baits before, but a lot of people do. It makes it so much easier to change the weight, so I figured I will give it a try. Got nothing to lose really. There we go. Ready to hopefully catch some fish. See on my side scan there's a big drop off about 10 meters out to my left. Well guys, it's been a good couple of hours now. Just scouting around this area trying to find something. Find a fish, but haven't found anything yet. The tide is starting to pick up a little bit now. So that may help things along. But apart from that, it's been really quiet. Not a single bite really. Had a few small nibbles, but I think they'll most likely just be like um, baby snapper or 
some sort of reef fish. Been fishing for about two and a half hours now, just prospecting this coastline, but haven't found anything. So there hasn't been a lot of sign on the sounder, but sometimes you still catch fish and there's no sign on the sounder, especially in the shallows. But um, yeah, we haven't really even had a bite or anything looking likely to be a fish. So. It's almost two o'clock now. The high tide is at about five. So it's about half tide. So I think I'm gonna shoot on over to my gurnard spot, drop the anchor down, and um, have a chilled out afternoon gurnard session, hopefully. Because this isn't working for me at the moment. <laughs> Last time I was having luck on snapper doing this was um, January, so complete opposite time of year. So we might have to come out next January and try it, but yeah, she's pretty quiet so far today. Turning into a nice day though. Almost feels like summer today, just without the heat. Same recipe as last time. Okay, we've pilchered. Cut in half again. A little beady Icabura. And we'll send it down. came off but I was winding it up it was almost at the boat and a bloody carway grabbed it but it's good because he unhooked himself but at least that was the first fish of the day so hopefully there is more to come Bites. Got something on. Oh, he's gone. What? More bites. He's on again. Feels like a gurnard. It's again, Ed. <laughs> Come to me, baby. Oh. Yes. First gunner on the board. Drop that back down. See whether I can hook up without a bit of bait on. I'm happy with that.
Oh no, a little bit of red weed on there. Better not get any more of that. I will not be happy. More bites. Oh. More bites. Oh, what's going on? Got him. <laughs> It's like a good gun. They seem quite aggressive at the moment, so I'm going to drop that soft bait down. So I reckon I'll probably catch them on a soft bait at the moment. Ah, another good gurnard. I need to remember to bring a rag with me next time. So these buggers have a lot of spikes on them. It's a lot easier to handle them if you've got a rag. Here we go. Oh, he's off again. It's got to be a kawai swimming right up. Yep, it's a kawai. Little bugger. Come here. Got another little bit of bait on here. I reckon we'll be in straight away. Let's see how long it takes. We're on the bottom. Oh. Why am I dropping so many? This feels like a bit of fish. Probably just a cowboy though. Yeah, it is just a cowboy. Big one. No, oh, he's not too big. Just using really light gear. So he feels bigger than he actually is. Him 
Check my bakes, it feels like I might have got a weed on there. Tiny little bit of weed, not much though. Bait's still on there, so we'll put it back down. Getting a few bites. There we got one. Feels like it's going to be another gurnard. Feels like it might be a big one. Kind of feels about hooked. I'm hoping it's just a horse. It's a good one. <laughs> well, it's not huge. It is fell hooked though. It's got hooked in the head. Still a good sized fish. It's not actually foul hooked, so to speak, but the one hook's in the mouth and then the other hook's hooked him in the head, which sort of made him feel like he was connected up there. So Quite funny how I could feel that through the rod. Here's another bloody good fish. Getting a few bites. There we go. This feels a bit heavier. I hope it's a gurnard. Definitely feels like a gurnard. Good. It's fighting like a gurnard though. Oh, just as I was about to say, it's gone a bit quiet now. Get another fish on. Oh, hold the hook. Had a bit of a quiet spell of sort of 15 minutes. Obviously the fish is still there. Another smaller gurnard. Yep. It's exactly that. I'm 
down, mate. Calm down. There you go. Alright guys, fishing's gone quiet and it's starting to get a little bit windier. So I've only got about an hour left before before the um, sun goes down, so I'm gonna pack up and call it a day, I think. And then at least we can head back to the ramp. Oh, there's still some sunlight. We got, I think we've got five gurnard in the bin. Let a couple go, caught a few kawai, so it was a pretty good day in the end. Put away. Jeez, that wind's got a real nip to it. It's actually a little bit cloudy over there where the wind's coming from. Might even be a little bit of rain out there. It's quite misty. So we definitely don't want to get caught in rain. So I think it's a good call to head home now. Yeah, see you back at the ramp. Thank you.